Hey guys, Lifter here, and welcome back to Black Ops 2 Zombies. So today's challenge, we're doing the two box challenge on Origins, which I've done before, you know, Mama the Dead, Transit, and Town, I believe. And I think I did it on Nuketown as well. But this is one of the few maps I have yet to do it on for Black Ops 2. I don't think I'll do it for Buried or Diorize, maybe because one, Buried is a bit too easy. And two, I just hate die rice. So you're not really going to see much videos about die rice from me, I'll be honest. But like I said, we're doing it on Origins, which I really love Origins. You know, I remember when people were like complaining about when it first released, they were like, oh man, this is a bad map. The lore is just bad because, you know, we're just toys and blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. I still liked it regardless, personally. But I'm also glad to see a lot of people start to warm up when it's like, you know, this is actually a really good map. Like a lot of people has it as their like number one, you know? All right, looks like our box is at generator three. But like, yeah, I just, I remember when people were complaining about how bad the map was. Like it felt very, very split between the community. Now let's turn on this generator because we just need one more kill i believe after this generator and we should have the box opened up now i will be honest i was originally going to be recording the new south park snow day game and i actually did start recording it but i just i don't know it felt very off to me i enjoyed like the first two games you know stuck a truth and the uh fractured butthole but this game i don't know i just didn't like its style Ooh, we got a dsr it's a good gun it's a good gun but not good first gun for our two box challenge here but I don't know, I think it might be the RPG aspect of it that I didn't like. Because I'm not too much of a fan of RPG games. Which I know a lot of people like those games, you know, like World of Warcraft and stuff like that. But I could never get into it personally. Like my mom and stepdad loves it a lot, but never really been too much of a fan personally. That's not to say they're bad games. Like I'm certain the uh, South Park game is also really good. But I've also been seeing a lot of people feel very split about it personally. Ooh, we got the Python. That's actually really good. But I'm mainly hoping that's more so just like a cyberpunk scenario where people don't like it at first, but they start to like it. Or like Origins, you know? But I think for the future, I think I might start playing on like order maps, you know, like Black Ops 1, World of War, start doing some of these challenges. But I might also start looking into getting some new games because we've been playing the same few games for a while now, you know, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Minecraft, Terraria. And don't get me wrong, they're really good games, but I do feel like we need to kind of spread our wings a little bit here. Like we can still have some of these games like the Call of Duty and Minecraft and Fortnite and whatnot. But we definitely do need to start branching out personally. I do know one game I'm waiting for is the uh, Dragon Ball game. Because, ooh, I love Dragon Ball. Like, I don't think it's much of a secret. I have, like, a Goku right up there. I think I pointed to him. I can't really, uh, can't really see where I pointed to. But, like, I love Dragon Ball. It's been a part of my childhood since, like, pretty much ever since I've had any sense of, like actual awareness of my life now i will admit i'm not a huge like 3d fighting game kind of like how uh the budokai games and the universe was but i'm willing to give it another chance like i actually did like the budokai games not so much xenoverse like it's okay but it's not my cup of tea personally but i think it's gonna be really good like the graphics look so close to so, like the actual anime especially for being a 3d fighter like that's the main thing i have to say about it because usually it looks a little off when they do like the fighting games you know like uh jump force or like previous budokai games but i will say i would love for them to do like another budokai like the classic budokai not budokai tenkaichi like i would love for them to do another one of those games but in the uh, modern style too because i love budokai 2 personally like it had some funny transformations you know it had a uh, kind of like a fusion between tn and uh, yamcha or like goku and hercules that was so funny to see goku but yeah i need to see what new games are going to be coming out because i want to kind of branch out my wings here i do know my friends we are talking about starting a seven days to die like little server thing for us but i need to get back with them see when they want to record it because it's been kind of a little bit of radio silence but he did get to me like a day or two ago so probably forgot you know but i think seven days to die would be a pretty fun series to do like i know they've been doing a lot of upgrades or not upgrades updates to the uh, game for a little while now mainly on the pc version although i do know at least less i've heard they are working on doing console updates. So I do hope that console does get these updates because I think it's been like, I don't know, seven years or something like that. I could be wrong about that part, but it's been a long time since I had an update for that game. But it's a pretty fun game. I gotta say, like, I had a lot of good memories with it. Me and my friends would play it all the time. Ooh, I hate Generator 4. It's like my least favorite generator to turn on because I always do it in like the middle of the round. But also just where all the zombies come from. 
it traps you so much right here. But yeah, Seven Days to Die was a really fun day. But yeah, Seven Days to Die is a really fun game. All right, let's continue forward with turning on these generators. I do know another game that I'm like somewhat excited for is like the new Fable game. But I don't have too much high hopes for it personally. Because like so far, we haven't really heard too much new information about it. And we've seen just barely anything. And it seems okay, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's gonna be a little weird story-wise, personally. And maybe even gameplay-wise, but we gotta see, we gotta see. But I do know one game I definitely am waiting for is the Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater remaster. Because that's gonna be so fun to play. Like, the graphics look so good for it. For, like, the little bit of snippet that it showed. Like, I do hope we get a release date for that really soon. There's just a lot of games that, I, like, I love and I can't wait to see, like them come out with the new series you know oh crap we got the panzer this round i wasn't even paying attention to the uh, round we're on that's gonna be really fun let me uh kind of just oh that miss i'm gonna try not to uh be in the pathway of him god this is really stressful when you have only just like a dsr and a python but we got this we got this the uh dsr is pretty powerful you know but i think the python can do a lot of damage here soon let me open up this door real quick and then we go ba 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 Ooh, we killed it nice Actually wasn't expecting us to kill him. But let us turn on this generator. No, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, oh my god, that was really close. But uh, we need to get ourselves the uh, shield part here soon. Because we need the shield, especially after that. That was a really stressful moment. Ah, there's a part right here. So now we can go make the shield. We also do have the generators on. So we can get pack punch here in a couple rounds. Oh, I just realized the only way we can actually get the uh, double tap for free is to pack a punch the DSR 50 like multiple times. So at the very least, we have the DSR 50. That's actually a uh, blessing in disguise, I guess. Oh no, we got something really bad going on here. We got something bad going on here. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy Christ, no, no, no. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Oh, my Lord, we are so not having a fun time right now. Okay, we have run out of ammo in our Python. We have a shield. We have to reload. Okay, we're done reloading. Perfect. How did we survive that? How did we survive that? I have no clue. All right, I think we should have the uh, Templars starting to run out of here and attack a generator since it's round 10. And they are attacking generator 2. All right, that's a bit distance away, but uh, we can make it there. And last guy right there. Get that free max ammo. All right, I think we need like 7,250 in order to buy the uh, centerpiece as well as pack punch. And I think the next round is Panzer, or it might be because we're on solo. It might be like round 12 or 14. Because I think they do like a skip for uh like a skip around for the Panzer. I can't remember. Alright, we got a double points. We got a few zombies here. That should definitely give us enough. There we go. 7755. Alright, what should we pack punch first? I think, hmm. I think the Python should be first. Because with that, we don't have to worry about like each individual reload where it's like one, two, three. It reloads it all at once. All right, gotta be careful around here. Gotta get my gun. And then, okay, we got an insta-kill. Oh, our shield broke. Okay, that's not good, but we're doing pretty good, though. You know, kind of continuing on with the trend, what games are you guys looking forward to? Or even, you know what? Tell me what your favorite game is, because I would love to know. Because, like, my most favorite games would have to be, like, Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, uh, Call of Duty, obviously, Minecraft, Terraria. Those are simple ones. But I also love, like, Pokemon Black, or I guess Black and White, but I've only played, like, Black and Black 2. Pokemon Rangers, like, the Guardian Rangers, is a fun one as well. All right, let's go and buy some Spicola. Because I know we could buy, or not buy, we could upgrade our... Okay, Generator 2 is under attack again. I was going to say we can upgrade our DSR-50. And we got the Panzer. That's also perfect. But uh, we could have we upgraded our DSR-50. But I think Speed Cool is a bit more important, in my opinion. All right, let's take care of you real quick. And, oh, got to do one more clip here. There we go. Ooh, double points. Give me that. We can definitely upgrade again now once we uh, kill all these guys. So let's go and upgrade our DSR-50. I think a no-scope DSR-50 would work the best, personally. But we will have to, like, repack a punch it a couple times, so that way it's really good. All right, guard, pack a punch DSR. You know, I remember using this a lot back then, like, on town. You just 
train around with the DSR, have it no scope, and just run around with double tap, and you do the glitch where you have like the tombstone glitch where you have every single perk. Ah, oh, good old days. I remember like me and my friends when we played town, we would just like run around, you know, try to make it to round 30 and like one person would be alive. And sometimes it was me, sometimes it was. And it was like, no, no, run, run, jump, run, jump, go upstairs, go upstairs, go to the jug, go to the jug, run, run, run. And it's like freaking out because of like how much we're trying to like survive. And it gets really hectic with like four people, I'll be honest. Like round 20 to 30 is like a really hectic stage. And we never really got too far past that we always just like died around then but it was still so very fun trying to make it super far all right let's go back a bunch to dsr 50 again i think we have the symbol for uh i think we have the symbol for the free double tap but i do want to get that uh no scope on this dsr here there we go it's kind of weird that the uh multiplayer never had this for the dsr because i know the ballista does but not the uh not the DSR for multiplayer. Really weird, personally. Now, I do know I could, like, train in a crazy place. You know, no panzers, no walls. Just train around, have it be super simple, but I like a little bit of challenge, you know? Ah, golden shovel, nice. All right, I think that's the double tip. Yeah, let's go. I always get confused with these guys, where it's like, is that the double tap or is that the free max ammo, you know? Oh, and we got the golden helmet on our first try with the golden shovel. That is super lucky. You know, I remember trying, like, when I was younger. It was, like, around round 25 or something like that. Somewhere in the 20s, I think. Uh, I would just train up the zombies, and I tried to use the uh, helmet to protect myself and run straight into the robot's foot. However, sometimes the, uh, sometimes the zombies can still, like, pile up on the outside, and they ran straight into the robot's foot while I was, like, still prone and just killed me instantly. And I got really upset with that, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was like, nope, I'm done. End game. But, like, I remember just silly moments like that. Or, like, trying to just get all the parts super early on and just dying at Mule Kick. I seriously do think, like, here soon, probably this week or maybe next week, I'll buy Black Ops 1 and World of War. And just relive some of those fun memories. Because I would love to do... Like I said, I would love to do some of these challenges on those uh, maps. I think another challenge I'm going to try to do is, like, where you have to pack a punch every single gun. Starting with, like, obviously, like, the 1911 or Mauser in this uh, specific scenario. And just pack a punch every single gun. I think that would be pretty fun, personally. I might try that for uh, Town this week. And when I get, like, Black Ops 1 and whatnot, I can do, like, Kino and 5 and try to do it on those maps as well. Oh, hey, we got the uh, Red Dick side over here. Probably should have saved the double tap then if it was going to be right over here. Uh, can I grab it before it runs out? Please, please, please. And, oh, we just barely made it. Ooh, we're almost out of ammo, I just realized. That's not really good. You know what would be really interesting? It would be really interesting to see, like, an animated, maybe even live action, but I think animated would work much better. Like, an animated, uh, zombies show. Because I don't think a movie would do it justice, personally. Like, maybe if it was back during, like, the World of War and, like, Black Ops 1 days, maybe. But, like, I think a uh, animated series would be really cool. Like, maybe even 3D animated. Because I remember seeing, like, you know, those YouTube skits back then where people, like, tried to do, uh, I guess, quote-unquote, zombies in real life. And, like, I found it really cool with some of these videos. Like, people had a lot of imagination with him. I forgot his name, but I remember there was this one guy that did one for, uh... For like the past few years now, they did like a crossover with Zombies in Spaceland with Richtofen. I'll link him in the description uh, if I can find him. Like I don't think he's doing it anymore, but still. Just, I remember those good old days. Alright, we need to get ourselves another shield here. We also did make it to 115 headshots as well. But uh, sadly, it's not really going to be too useful for that one. Alright, got our shield and we don't really need to worry about the zombies who were running us this time. Ooh, this might have been a bad idea to camp back here. Thankfully, we have our trusty python. Oh yeah, I guess another thing I could say right now is that we did make it to like 600 subscribers. And that is like a big milestone, like another big milestone for me. And I just want to do a quick thank you to you guys. Like, thank you for subbing. Thank you for watching. Like, even if you're not sub, still, thank you if you're uh, still watching at this point. And I think I will do, like, a small, like, mini episode, like, mini video here later this week as well. Just do, like, a small one. Go to Walmart, get myself a cupcake, and just, you know, have a mini celebration. Like, I really appreciate it. Like, I can't believe you guys, like, sit down and just go, Hey, this guy seems interesting enough. Like, he rambles a lot. I like that. And just click subscribe. Like, it's so... It's just, I don't know, mind-boggling to me. But I just appreciate it. Like, I appreciate you guys. Like, I know part of the reason why I'm doing YouTube is, like, for the fun of it. But also because I do want to, like... I want to grow big as well. 
Like, I want to make sure that I have a nice good following. I want to be able, maybe not exactly like be like, oh, I want to be like Markiplier level type of thing, but have a nice following, you know? Like, get my name a little bit out there. Even though it's going to be more so my fake name, but still. Still get some part of me out there. Something that will be, uh, something noticeable. Like, people can be like, oh, hey, I know that guy. Which actually, I did have something similar, or not similar, but just like exactly what I was talking about. When I was uh, scrolling through TikTok, I had a guy comment on one of my posts and be like, Flipter 20? And I was like, uh, yeah. And they were like, oh, no, I just remembered or like, I recognize you from your YouTube. I didn't know you had a uh, TikTok. And I was like, you recognize me from uh, YouTube? Wow, that is like, I felt super honored. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I could not, I had zero words to really say. Like, obviously, I did the whole like, oh, thank you. But like. I wanted to like say a huge bunch of like a whole lot of words there like oh my god I can't believe you recognize me like I'm so grateful for that but TikTok has like 500 character maybe like 300 character spaces that you can actually use so obviously I just did like a simple thank you and appreciate that he watches my videos and that yeah I do uh, TikTok to like branch out a little bit here and there. I guess I should let you guys know as well like here soon next week I'm gonna be at Comic-Con for my area and i'm gonna be i'll try to record some of it i think it would be a pretty cool like mini vlog video but uh i'm gonna be going to comic-con i think it's gonna be pretty fun uh i'm gonna well be obviously dressed up like how i am right now and uh maybe a little bit more i'll have like the eye patch as well because i'm uh i'm venom snake if you guys couldn't tell or at least i'm supposed to be like that's kind of the get up i've been uh rocking with but there's gonna be a lot of cool voice actors like uh james arnold taylor he voices like obi-wan in the clone war series as well as like ratchet from ratchet and clank johnny tess from uh well johnny tess there's also like the dragon ball characters like uh we the voice actor for Whis and uh sony straight he plays uh krillin and bardock and also May Hughes from uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Which, I'm gonna be honest, I never really realized that till after, like, I saw that and I re-watched Full Metal Alchemist and I was like, oh my god, that does sound like Krillin. But yeah, I think a little mini-vlog for it would be pretty cool. Like, walk around, look at all the, uh, look at all the art stands and whatnot, because I love, like, I love the art there. Like, I have a lot of art from uh, previous cons, also figurines and whatnot. Alright, let's get this free max and ammo. So, kill you guys, and there we go. Give me that, please. Probably should use my uh, DSR, but oh well. You know, I have to say, we're making it pretty far just for using only the DSR and the uh, Python. Because, like, I don't think we should have made it this far without going down whatsoever. I don't know what type of witchcraft this is, but somehow we're doing it. Alright, we got the Banzer once more again. He's right behind me. Oh, our shield broke as well. That's not good. I need a new shield. Hang on. Uh, give me a second, guys. I need a new shield. Thank you. There we go. Panzer is dead. Gonna grab all this stuff real quick here. Uh-oh, this might be where we die. Oh, yeah, our first death. All right. Uh, I think our shield broke, so that's one main reason why that happened. Uh, we need to get ourselves some jug and whatnot. We need to run that direction, though. Yeah, no, we might die. Okay, please don't hurt me. Okay, we're good. I don't think I'm gonna run out to get the uh, zombie shield just yet. I'm gonna go try to grab my other perks first. Ooh, zombie blood, gonna take that. I'm gonna actually walk around real quick, see if there's any digs nearby. Ah, oh, it's right up there. No, I'm not gonna make it in time. Okay, we at least know where it's gonna be for the future. It's gonna be on that tank path. We can definitely get, like, two perks right there. Or, like, two extra perks, you know, get, like, double tap or, uh, double tap and Lux Cherry. Because I think those are the only two perks we really need at that point. Because PhD ain't gonna be useful, Deathshot ain't gonna be useful, and Mule Kick definitely won't be useful. Alright, that's our final perk we need right there for now. I mean, don't get me wrong, we still need to get our uh, double tap and whatnot back, but for now, that's all we need. As long as I have Jug and Quick Revive, I am A-OK. -okay. Alright, it's gonna be probably a little while before we get double tap, so let's start our heading journey now. Or I'll get myself trapped again. Okay, perfect, perfect. I love that, I love that. Uh, we got stamina up. I'll take you since we will need you in the future. We got Electric Cherry. Not gonna take that. We need double tap more than uh, Electric Cherry, personally. Ah, we got Spicola. Uh, PhD, not gonna take that. Oh, we got the, uh, we got these guys here. Gonna get a free max ammo, I guess. And then this should be the last set when it teleports away. 
Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, we got a zombie blood from this dig. Okay, I uh, gotta get that free perk bottle. Gonna get my electric cherry. Gonna get my double tap. Gonna get a lot of good perks right there. But first, we need to get ourselves some quick revive. And then we can get those two perks. Alright, got the quickie of revivey. And I think, yeah, okay. I was about to say, I think the lightning bolt was right here. And we have dead shot. No, thank you. I'm good. Not a good perk. I can do without, personally. Uh, ooh, we might go down here. Okay. Whew, that could have been really bad. We have mule kick. Definitely not gonna take that. Ooh, our shield is gone. That's not good. But, uh, we gotta work with what we got. Ah, electric cherry. I'll take you. Alright, give me my double tap, please. I wish there was a physical perk location for double tap. Ah, the teddy bear. I wish there was a physical perk location for it. Because I feel like this is actually one of those maps that need it. Because I think the only other map that didn't have a uh, double tap as a physical perk was Ascension, I believe. You know, one thing I do enjoy about Black Ops 3 is every map in Zombie Chronicles besides Origins does not have Electric Cherry. And like, it makes sense like lore wise, but still it's like, it's a little neat feature that they added for it. Ah, double tap. Yes, please. Who gotta do my double damage here. You know, we have another Zombie Blood over there. We could try to go for more perks. So I think I might go for that, just for the, uh, little bit of the lulls here. So let's see, nothing around here. Nothing around there. Nothing around here. Definitely won't be down here. Ah, it's right here. Cool. So we could probably get either Deadshot or PhD. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's not like they're really gonna be too useful. But, might as well have it, you know? You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not enjoying the fact that this is, like, one of my more higher rounds that I've ever made to on Origins. And all I'm using is a DSR and a Python. Like, that kind of pisses me off a little bit here. Don't get me wrong. It's great for uh, video-wise, you know, making it super far rather than dying on, like, round 7. But, like, it still kind of pisses me off a little bit. Because, like, I tried so many times in the past with all the staffs and all that stuff. And the furthest I got in was like Black Ops 3 on round 60. And that's like after doing the Easter egg and everything. Or like even just buying dead wire and just training in the crazy place for that. Ooh, okay, that's gonna be my death if I don't get out of here. But like I think on the normal Black Ops 2 zombies for uh, Origins, I don't think I really made it too far past. Maybe like round 40 at the most I've ever made it on. But even then, I'm not even too certain about that. Ooh, my shield broke. That's not gonna be good for me if I don't get a new one. You know, I will admit, I kind of want to end this right here and now. But I refuse to give myself that luxury. Because, like, we're making it pretty far. Why did I not grab that? Go grab that. But anyway, uh, I refuse to give myself that luxury because we need to complete this. We need to make it to, like, round 72. I don't care. We're probably not going to make it that far. But uh, at least make it to round 30. And then we'll go on from there. Ah, oh, I didn't make it in time. I thought I was going to make it in time to uh, kill them all. To be fair, I don't even need to turn on the generator here, but might as well do it. Oh, boy. I kind of trapped myself. Damn it. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, maybe I might not make it to round 30. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Okay, okay. Oh, I just realized we won't be able to buy, uh, Quick Revive again unless we hit the, uh, Winterfish machine like 50 million times. Oh, boy. I really screwed up here again. This is kind of a bit of a flashback here. No, 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 no. Okay, wow. I do not know how I passed that. But, uh, I survived. I survived. Get that Spicola. You know, I think it would be pretty cool for the uh, new Dragon Ball game that's going to be coming out. The uh, Sparking Zero. I'd love to see it start from, like, OG Dragon Ball all the way up to Super. Like, end of Super. And, like, future-wise, have, like, DLC for when more Dragon Ball Super releases. That would be really cool for the uh, storyline. And, like, character-wise as well. Because, like, obviously they're going to be doing a lot more characters, like DLCs and whatnot. Because, ooh, we got Quick Revive. But, uh, that's part of the reason why they have DLCs is to keep, like, the online services up. Ah, oh, we got a teddy bear. That's not good. Well, we got the Panzer after us once more again. And my shield broke as well, so we're gonna be in a bit of a pickle here. I think if we use the DSR on Panzer, we should be pretty good. Because it does a lot of damage to him regardless here. And come on, one more shot. Bonk. Ah, oh, I think I just barely missed him. There we go. Now he's dead. No, 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 no. Oh, yep. Nope. Uh, don't think we're gonna make it out of this one. Maybe if I make it to that... Ooh, okay. Yeah, we can definitely survive. Alright, go, 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 grab, reload. I'm gonna try to hit the Winter Fizz machine just a little bit here. At least get a few perks I can. Hopefully no, like, mule kick or anything like that. PhD, okay, nope. 
Gonna have to keep on running. Ooh, I'm almost out of ammo as well. That's not good. All right. Ooh, a Juggernaug. Drink that up. Ah, uh, I'm almost out of ammo. I have no clue how I'm supposed to survive all this, but uh, we're gonna try it. No. Ooh, almost lost my uh, life there. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Just a little more, just a little more. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. Ah, I never grabbed the double points from here earlier. I can't get my, uh, can't get the, uh, max ammo from here. Please, please, please don't come near me. Okay, good. Woo. All right, I think this is going to be a teddy bear regardless if I hit it, but I'm going to see if we can get double tap or something like that. PhD. Got, mm, you know what? I'll take it. We'll have an extra perk regardless. All right, there we go. Now it's a teddy bear. Ah, looks like cherry. I'll take you. You're definitely pretty good. And I need double tap and quick revive. Ooh, okay. Don't know how I'm doing all of this. We got our double tap. Uh, mule kick. No, thank you. Not a fan. Mule kick again. Nope, not taking you. And I think this is going to be the little teddy bear again. Yep, teddy bear. We also need a new shield. Why do I keep on doing this? Like, why do I keep on coming down here trying to grab a shield when it's very clear that I'm gonna end up, like, dying down here? Ah, uh, there's a nuke up there, but I can't get it because my guns are starting to do, like, zero damage at this point. Yep, we're gonna go down. We're gonna go down. Yep. Okay, maybe not. Ah, oh, so close. Ah, uh, alright. 32, that's a really good round, especially for only having the DSR and the Python. That's actually a really good round. Ah, uh, you were this close, though. But I think I'm going to end off the episode there, obviously. So if you guys have liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And with that out of the way, this has been Luther20, signing off. Bye-bye.